You don't know what you see. The old bath. So what we're doing here, we're replacing all this flooring, changing the shower door. The customer wants to keep the tub for his budget. New toilet, new base, painting, all new um, custom vat vanity. It's going to be full length of the filler and then a mirror and a light. So nothing crazy, um, but definitely a fresh look to get rid of the, the 80s look here. Right. Another plumbing case. It's old. It's all got to be new. Now I decided to actually do the tub now. So we're going to demo this and it'll be a full bath remodel now. You ever seen that? Water lines ran under the tub. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. But it's ABS. So it's 70s. 70s and early 80s. It's something. But I did not know it was block. And it's going to make it a pain in the ass. So before we uh, demoed this um, tub and everything, we obviously didn't know that there was water lines that ran under the tub. So the style of tub that was in here, that, that didn't bother it. So the new tub that we have obviously sits flat and uh, that's gonna be an issue. So we're gonna have to rerun this copper under the subfloor here. So we're just gonna pex it. And it'll be even more modern anyway, so. Right, and they'll stub up right here. So I gotta replace this P trap because this old ABS, I couldn't find a male male fitting to adapt to um, threads over to PVC. So I'm just gonna cut the PVC back, put a new or uh, ABS back, put a new ABS P trap in. So that'll be new. It'll have new shutoffs. Obviously, you're putting a shower valve in, um, a new one mowing, and then. Unfortunately, the flange around this toilet was not right and broken, so I gotta re put an elbow in, and uh, then we'll slap the subfloor on. And we'll have all the plumbing done. So for the vanity drain, had to redo redo this connection because the old uh, the old threaded piece on here was messed up. So just cut it out, put a new T. This uh, toilet flange. I had to go to a different style because of the height. There was tile in here, so I had to modify that. And then I tightened up the hole so that'll go down there, glue. And then I had to cut that out and modify that, but we're good. So we got all of our water lines and everything. So I'm gonna clean up, put the tub in. So I got the tub in. Checking my solder joints. New shutoffs for Bob, brand new. And then down into the pecs. Hex connections at the bottom. It's just water tested and drain tested good. And uh, we're tr trying everything out here now. That's not the act, that's the old shower head, but all checks out. surrounds in this is a two stud surround so it's got to make the drywall look magical set it up good so here's the bathroom remodel so ignore the hallway this is all getting painted and new carpet so the carpet will pull to the right spot where the door closes here just ignore that um got everything done other than the countertop i have to wait for the countertop to be put in so once the granite's in then i'll have my backsplash in place i can set the mirror and then i'll hook up the finished plumbing underneath obviously when that's all in but other than that like pretty much everything else is done all this booger crap and all this ugliness that you see will be covered up by the mirror so you won't see it um new electrical uh i'll update that 
it's also the last day, you know, when I have a complete list to do stuff. So, uh, all new shutoffs, new toilet, new plumbing, all the drains are all reworked. The flooring is a 20 mil LVT from MDG Flooring. Um, the cabinets. So, also, the cabinets are from right next door at Kiba Studios. We had to go with them because, um... The drywall, the drywall is 59 inches, so we couldn't get a standard 60-inch vanity in here. So we had to do two custom cabinets with a filler, and it worked out. But yeah, I mean, the floor looks really good. Um, it's rugged LVT, waterproof, 20 mil wear layer. It's good stuff. Um, the granite's going to look very similar to this. We kind of went with the grays and the whites, you know, all the stuff that's pretty modern. Um so the counter is going to look basically like the floor. So um, brush nickel handles, brush nickel lighting, brush nickel uh, door handle, brush nickel furniture. Um, you know, that's, you know, it's kind of in. So looks good. Uh, owner's really happy. Everything's new in the wall. He ain't going to have any leaks for a long, long time. The drain's all new. So I think he's really happy.